Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoy the video that I'm making right now. Sorry about this first part, but I got to get all settled over here. Okay, it's not a lot of room. <laughs> it's not a lot of room at all. So check it out. This is how you guys need to, or what you need to do to be able to get your, your free stay at the Airbnb. Um, also, we're offering a second and third place prize. So the first place prize is you win your stay at the Airbnb right next to Bear Mountain. Awesome. Snow, one of the snowiest parts of town, of course. Second, you'll win um, an awesome hoodie. These are made by Champion. The hoodies are incredibly thick and beautiful. And the third prize is $50 cash. So basically, forgive me, I, I'm just going to read here just to make sure. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to follow my Instagram account. And for instructions on, on how to win the free night stay... Um, you got to go to my Instagram account. The instructions will be there. All right. Um, also, check out our brand new merch too, you guys. We just launched a, a few new products. Some Calm, calm Before the Storm uh, shirts and hoodies and coffee mugs. We've already sold quite a few just yesterday. I, I, I can't believe it. You guys are so supportive. I love it. So thank you again. I'll be reminding you guys about the um, giveaway I, I, I hope you guys who don't have Instagram will do it for me. Sign up because I want all of you to have a chance to win. You guys have been so supportive. It, I really need you guys to have a chance to win. And uh, again, the instructions will be on my, my Instagram page. In the comment section below and in the description of this Calm Before the Storm video, I'll have the links to click to get to my Instagram, etc., etc. All right, guys. So... Thank you again for everything. Also, on the BigBearWeatherAndMore.com website is a link to purchase the goggles, the Snow Warrior Smart Goggles. These things are sick. So yeah, guys, don't, don't forget that. And then last but not least, if you want your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. And uh, if you mention me in the channel, they will take care of you. And if you want to buy stuff there too and rent equipment, they'll probably hook you up some way, somehow also. Tony, the owner, is a sweetheart. So just let them know that you are a friend of mine and they will take care of you. And this video is from seven years ago. And uh, yeah, it's pretty. I hope we look like that here soon. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Best of luck in this whole thing. And last, I guess this is last but not least, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for a pair of these goggles too. That's gonna to be separate, all right? Love you guys. Thank you for everything. And uh, yeah, best of luck to each and every single one of you. Enjoy the calm before the storm. All right, you guys, this is the calm before the storm with the doggies. Hey doggies, how you doggies doing doggies? How you doing doggies? Oh, what are you doing buddy? Calm before the storm. Got some of the new merch on right now. It's one of our, our long sleeve Big Bear Weather and More shirts. So beautiful, so comfortable. I'm telling you guys, and I hope you really enjoy the Airbnb and the free merch and the cash prizes, whoever wins. Because as, as you heard, we are doing a first, second, and third place prize for this. I'm excited to do it. it makes me happy. And uh, I just want to see you guys smile. That is a big time amount of joy for me to see that. So let's do it. Anyway, yeah, calm before the storm. The storm's supposed to start tomorrow evening. And it's not going to be much. It's been fluctuating between less than an inch up to an inch. And at very few rare times, it says one to three inches. We got people here stopping at the crosswalk. So go ahead, there you go. I've never come up here when someone's using the crosswalk. I, I really dig it how all these lights flash to let you know that someone's crossing. Yeah guys, so again, I'm sorry for all the inundation with videos, but this is just what I do. And we got that surprise snow earlier today that was not, not supposed to happen. And then I drove around for about 45 minutes because the radar was showing that it was snowing. So I'm looking everywhere but it is what it is, it, you know. That happens to me an in, in awful lot because I am so OCD about this. I want to make sure I capture it out, out, every time and right when it starts. So I'll be driving everywhere around this valley. 
But yeah, so get get ready for tomorrow. When it comes to chain conditions, I'll never know until the time comes. And then the best bet is to call 800 Caltrans or go onto the Caltrans website. It's so easy to navigate that website, you guys. And you'll get the most up-to-date information on what road conditions are and what they expect of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of our YouTube friends. His name's Alex in the Anaheim area. Super cool dude. He came up here last week and I went to, to, to meet up with him because I've met him in the past through the channel, but I got to meet his family, it was super cool. I love doing that, I love meeting you guys because you guys make me smile, you guys make my life joyous. So, I love meeting you guys. Anyway, we're coming up towards Bear Mountain. Looks like there's quite a few people here. with messages. You know what, we're, we're gonna go straight into the, the uh, neighborhood up here, to the very top. This is one of the free sledding locations that I'm gonna show you guys. I have it on my playlist under free sledding locations. This is one of them. But I'm gonna drive you all the way up to the top so you can see. So Bear Mountain's to the left. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. It might get a little icy up here, so you do gotta be a little careful. It's a very shady area, meaning not much sun. I don't mean the other shady. So this looks like you might actually have a decent amount of snow to still do some sledding, guys. Oh yeah, you, you should be good. It's not far past Bear, you just keep on staying on Club View Drive and go up here to the very top. And I always suggest that you guys sled over here on the left-hand side. It is a great spot to sled, but we are gonna turn around. There's some park benches up here. You can just chill and have a great time. That's the 2N10, my favorite off-road area. But in the winter time, it's closed. So unfortunately, you can't get through there. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way, but don't do it. Because if you get stuck, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these guys. All right, so we're gonna head back down. This is a fun trail right here. It's about a three quarters of a mile trail. It takes you through a really beautiful part of Moon Ridge. I enjoy it. You gotta be careful going down though, cause it is icy. Let me uh, put it in the lower gear, there we go. Yeah, there's still a lot of snow over here. I mean, comparatively to the other sides of the town, you know. I don't want the little guy to jump out. Right, Theo? Right, buddy? <laughs> they are so cute. They are so cute. Alright, 
we're out of that tough stuff. And again, we're coming by the ski resort right here. folks are having a great time the snow looks pretty good up there you guys I'm excited to see that I love seeing the good snow all right so we're gonna turn right here on gold mine right next to beautiful bear get your buns up here and have fun there's hole number one on the golf course be fun to go play some snow golf all right we're gonna do a little upper moon ridge shot here but we're gonna go in from a different area that we usually do oh look at how blue that sky is man oh man oh man that's beautiful Turn left here on Primrose. Let's take Primrose up here. We're basically in Upper Moon Ridge now, but we're just gonna take this a different. We haven't been on Primrose, I don't think, in a while, other than to park to walk out onto the ski slopes. part of town always gets more snow you guys upper moon ridge is as i've told you guys technically the snowiest area in big bear Taking you guys through through this this neighborhood, so we can uh, yeah just do a different little area for the calm before the storm today. So this is Shasta. We're gonna follow the emergency evacuation route. gonna follow the emergency evacuation route we can turn right there but that's 
going to kind of shortchange us through Upper Moon Ridge, so we'll just follow the emergency evacu the emergency evacuation route signs. What do you dogs think about that, huh? You dogs cool with that, huh? Theo, Theo. All right, guys. All right. Well, bless you, Luna. Bless you, big girl. Okay, so now we are on coming up to Siski Siskiyou. We're gonna make a hang a right here. Yeah, you're still gonna have to be very cautious driving up here, you guys, in Upper Moon Ridge, because there's still a lot of chunks of ice everywhere. And now we're on we're gonna be on Deer Canyon. Oh dear. Oh dear. And usually for the aftermath videos, I'll drive through the areas where I did the calm before the storm so you can get a good, you know, uh, visual of how much different it looks. This storm isn't going to provide much difference. But I am excited to drive through town during the snowfall, though. I love it. All right, now we're back on Moon Ridge Road. We did a quick little upper Moon Ridge escape. There's Bear right there. The golf course right there. And the getaway that we're giving away, you turn right down this next street and it's just up a little bit on the left-hand side. This is Sheephorn. Great, great retreat. You guys are gonna be stoked. My favorite part is just that the hot tub is right outside the master bedroom. It's 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 awesome. It's awesome. You got great internet there, video games for the kids. Everything's good technology there, so you know, if you must do some work and stuff like that, you have the ability to. It's a home away from home. through Fox Farm to finish the calm before the storm. So on Moon Ridge right here, when you come to this left turn area right next to the zoo, you'll want to make a right. This is my shortcut to get to Fox Farm area. I know these are a lot of turns and it's a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. And you guys will, will make it. Just keep on rewinding and seeing what I'm doing and as a matter of fact you could be your passenger could be watching the video and following my same same steps here telling you where to go so we're on silver tip now this is another way to get into upper moon ridge but we're not going to be going into upper moon ridge we're going to be going out of middle moon ridge again into the fox farm area beautiful airbnb properties all over the place guys again i'm very very fortunate that we get to have one on our channel that we can do some awesome giveaways with it's just it's awesome all right so here we go this is villa grove we're gonna make a left 
watch out for traffic. Over here to Lucerne. Then at the end here, we're gonna make a left on Vine. And then an immediate right on McAllister. But if you stay on McAllister, it turns into Fox Farm. As you can see, major difference in the amount of snowfall. This area still gets good snow right here, but compared to Upper Moon Ridge, it's a huge difference. I'd say right now, Upper Moon Ridge in parts has the most snow in the entire town when it comes to where you guys want to rent. So if you can find an Airbnb where we're giving it away, which is in the like basically the snowiest area up here, then you need to book our Airbnb. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying ours. I didn't earn it. It's a good friend of the channel. He found me on the channel because he and his family, they really enjoy watching it. And uh, he's just a really great guy. So I'm happy to help him out. And he's helping me out too. All this merchandise that you see, I wouldn't have any of it if it wasn't for him. None of it. So thank you, Jay. All right, Fox Farm Road, folks. snow and ice all over this road but still plenty of plenty plenty of road to grip but again just be extra cautious don't be in a hurry up here there's a nice little chunk right here Back at Big Bear Boulevard, there's Snow Summit right there. We're just gonna go straight across. Right there, doggies. Theo, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, it's just a good boy. Oh, yeah, it's just a good boy. Oh, Luna's a good girl. Oh, yeah, she's a good girl. Oh. I know my kitty cat, Pimp, is very sad that he's not in this video. He's my bestie of all besties. My little guy, Pimp. 
I love that guy. So, hang on a second, ladies and gentlemen. Dogs are looking like they wanted to jump out the window. Sorry guys, that's not happening. neighborhood sit down good boy gosh there's huge parking lots everywhere up here for these ski resorts I mean huge parking lots guys stop it one of the big satellite parking lots there's probably like nine or ten up here that are huge like this if not even bigger guys stop it stop it Luna stop it stop messing with them So we are on a street called Swan Drive. straight on Park Avenue to go by the park real quick. This is one of my favorite parks in all of Big Bear. It's right alongside the lake. They've got everything from basketball and tennis courts and baseball fields. It's called Meadow Park. Really neat, neat place. Big gazebo to set up lunch and barbecues and yeah, it's, it's, it's a great place. right there in the middle so we're just gonna pull into the parking lot real quick so you guys can see oh which one of you guys let one go jeez louise that's stinky you guys that is horrible it's absolutely devastating <laughs> seriously pass out from that one. I, Luna, I'm sure it was you. I'm sure you pulled that one, didn't you? And they were going to put an ice skating rink in over here. And I think they 
still have plans for it. I just don't know where over here. It's quiet. All right, so right here, good place to park. And then you can just walk right up there onto that little dock. Yeah, let me pull up a little bit. Jungle gyms for the kids. Just a great little spot. And as I said, just park right here somewhere and then walk out where you see all those people. And you'll be able to uh, walk. Well, right where they're standing is standing right right over the lake. Beautiful views. During a snowstorm, we will, we will we'll definitely do that for sure. So you guys can check it out. I've done it in many videos. Of course, I've got like 3,400 videos. And now we're gonna exit this area. So this is now Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T. <clears throat> and the way you know you're on Knight Avenue is it's the same street that Taco Bell and Denny's are on, it's right across from each other. Knight Avenue is the first street you can take to come down here to get to the park. And Knight Avenue will also give you a huge shortcut when there's a lot of traffic up here on Big Bear Boulevard because we are coming up to Big Bear Boulevard. But yeah, this is just gonna be a short and sweet calm before the storm. I can't wait till we have some real storms though. It's gonna be great. And again, I'm excited for you guys to win those prizes. back here at the boulevard there's Lenny's and there's taco smell the most expensive Taco Bell in the world is right here you all right Luna are you okay you, are, you, are you okay girl oh poor thing so we're gonna make a left here you guys are gonna have to hang on okay you okay Luna she took a header poor thing I don't like taking dogs or any animals in the car because they can get really hurt. When my wife takes takes the dogs, she has them locked up in the car. I love it. She, she takes them all the time. Takes them to the dog park all the time. check out is Snow Summit. So this is Thrush, right where Carl's Jr. is. This is the exit route of Snow Summit on Thrush here. So we're gonna head up here. We're, they're not gonna let us into the parking lot, of course, but we're gonna go up to the street called Switzerland and cut across and just try to get a nice little view when we're crossing Summit Boulevard while we're on Switzerland. Right, guys? All right, little guys? husband and wife, Theo and Luna, and they they had, had babies a few years back, the cutest, cutest little babies. Alright, 
so obviously we're not going to go through here i don't want to cause any problems but we are going to turn left here on switzerland then we'll take switzerland all the way into moonridge so nice to building a house right here lucky person lucky homeowner That's so awesome, that's so awesome. And then people think they can just stop right in the middle of the road. It's it's it, it's quite funny because I never see that down the mountain. Up here though, the sense of entitlement is just crazy. We're on vacation, so we own the place. And that's look at Summit. Thank you, brother. All right. Appreciate you. Look at the mountain. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, don't stop in the middle of the road. As I said, we're on Switzerland, and this road ends up getting kind of bad in terms of potholes and things of that nature. So you gotta really maneuver this road with caution. This is a shortcut to take you into Moonridge though, you guys, okay? And deep into Moonridge, where you can basically avoid pretty much most of the traffic to get to Bear Mountain. And I mean, it's a lot of avoiding when you take this road. But we're coming into the to pothole central here in just, just a moment. And the snow and ice might be covering some of these mean, mean ones. So we need to be, as I said, extra, extra cautious here. I remember a few years back, they fixed these potholes. And within a couple months, they were all there again. Look at some of these houses. I mean, look at the size of that place. This street has some of the nicest houses in the whole area. I mean, look at that. I wish I had a place like that. And on this side of the street, just humongous properties. <laughs> I know you can't really see it through the fence right there, but it's just a huge, huge estate. You know, if, if you dream, you can have things. You can do things in life. You only get one life to live. These are some nasty ones. Then up here on the left, when we get up to the top of the hill here, there's this one spot. It's so big, it looks like a hotel. Like the Overlook Hotel. And going up this little slope here, you need to get some speed behind you. And then just kind of coast the rest of the way up. There, just like that. Yeah, this is a beautiful area up here. Big lot right there. There's another big beautiful home. And then another one to the left of it. And even though this one's huge compared to the ones that we that, that we just passed, that one's not even that big. 
Boy, I would love to own a house like that. That'd be so awesome. But again, we're coming up to my favorite house on this street on the left-hand side. Here it is. Just check this thing out. Check this bad boy out. It's just a monster. Can't even get the whole house in my camera view. And then next door is a beautiful home as well. Once again, this street is called Switzerland. Try and, you know, if you guys want to stay in a, just in a total exclusive mansion, you can look look those up on Airbnb also. If uh, if you want to stay in just a ridiculously huge house, it's weird. When I was growing up, everyone st strived to be great and and work hard and get an education so they can you know do more in life and enjoy life more and have the nicer things. And now it's like if you want the nicer things. Like, uh, like you're a bad person and it's, it's just, I, I'll just never understand it. Usually that's coming from people who don't want to put the effort into life, who make those types of comments and that, oh, these wealthy people are only wealthy because they screwed someone over or something like that. No, man, like, I mean, you don't think people without money have screwed people over either? Like, you get your good and your bad in every class of people and I'm, I'm tired of struggling. And I work really hard and I'm hoping someday I can give my wife and myself and our kids and grandkids an amazing, amazing life. Be able to travel, see the planet. Because again, you only get one life. We're on Elm Street, you guys. Every town has an Elm Street. <laughs> Every town has an Elm Street. We're coming up to the roundabouts on Moon Ridge Road here. We're gonna be just going through the roundabout. Let let these people through real quickly. And then we will be golden. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's very nice of him. That's very nice of him. All right, so that was the calm before the storm. Again, calm before the storm is just to show you the calm, serene weather what the town looks like before the storm because when we do the aftermath then I show you what it looks like after the storm again this storm not gonna have any impact but during the snowfall it could change everything white again temporarily and I love it so anyway say goodbye to the doggies bye doggies bye doggies Theo Luna say Theo say bye bud say bye Luna <laughs> I love you guys take care hit like and subscribe and I'm, I'm really excited to see who wins these giveaways. <laughs> you guys deserve it. And I'm going to be doing much more. Peace out.